Wonderful day. I am Wellness Hero. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be providing some links and resources that I find to be most accurate when we look at the Oroville facts, the Oroville Dam, Lake Oroville, and what is the situation going on in California. Because as we observe and monitor the situation, it's really important to know what is being put out and who's putting it out. Because I started making videos back in February because I saw a need because of, you know, just tremendous amount of clickbait out there. Videos being made, not having valid, not having accurate, up to date, and right now we find ourselves at March 5th. I'm here on the East Coast out of Rochester, New York, and it is March 5th, and it's important to know these timestamps because one of the things I'm going to start today's video with right here is a tweet from yesterday, and this is from the California Department of Water Resources. The power plant situation it had been shut down for a very long period of time because where the outflow from the generators that generate the hydroelectric electricity from the dam, that's one of the good things that we actually can experience from having the dam, but it hasn't been working, so this is not a good experience, and that the outlets were above water. And they were above water because what we see here is all this debris, all this sediment, all this, a lot of this is the concrete that they dumped, but when they're the auxiliary spillway suffered damage back in February, and now it's catastrophic damage because when you look at the scale of what's going on here, and again, the height of the dam is 770 feet below the Feather River, but really what we're looking at is the, the Thermolito Diversion Pool because that's what this is all called, the Thermolito Diversion Pool, and all this debris had backed it up, and it went above where the power plant was getting rid of the water from the hydroelectric process and turning the generators, making electricity. So the power plant situation is it has been shut down. And not only has that been shut down, but they cut off all the outflow. And that is one of the things I really want to focus on is when we look at this resource from the water department in California, it's important to know the feet of the dam. And we're looking at the most current action, actual information. March 5th, 2017, so they say, on the Julian calendar, Gregorian calendar. It's all crazy. We don't even know what day it is. But the big thing is to get back on focus, the feet. In the last 24 hours, because they have no outflow, it has increased two and a half feet. Well, is that really a big deal? It's at 853 feet almost. Well, it is a big deal for a couple of reasons. One, this is the incident update from the Army Corps of Engineers and, again, the Department of Water Resources. That's where a lot of these um, facts are coming from. And this is the latest timestamp. Look at this. This is from yesterday, so it's over a day old. And they say that the outflow is somewhere between 10,000 and 18,000. Well, we go back over here, and we can see that the outflow is 18,351. The inflow, I'm sorry, I was saying that wrong. The inflow coming into Lake Oroville is 18,351. Well, the latest, they're saying it's you know, somewhere between 10,000 and 18,000. It's more than that. There's more coming in right now. And they also said the lake is rising, and the lake rising from March 3rd to March 4th, it went from 48 feet to 850. Well, again, we look at the current data right now, 853, so it's three feet above what they had listed yesterday. And as we know, with it rising, the big thing is it's more like a cone. This isn't a cylinder where we have these straight walls and it's filling up, you know, three feet equally all the way across. When we talk about three feet, the amount of weight of that water is so much more significant because of this cone shape and the aspect of that creates a larger surface area. But the biggest thing to kind of pay attention to is what has happened over the course of the timeline. We look back to February, and we can see that here's the hydro plant. Here's the 770-foot dam. A lot of this area is completely eroded, and the big aspect is over here. When we look directly to the left side, all the erosion that started taking place, that's really become you know a massive problem. But they're doing all this work 24 hours a day. The emergency spillway toppled back in February for the first time in a 60-year history. But the biggest thing is the current information that the power plant crews have been working nonstop and it's temporarily been shut down. We have all this debris, all this construction going on. 
But one of the things I like to look at all the time is just seeing what is the elevation. 901 is when it topples over the emergency spillway. They like to keep it at 850. It's at 853 right now. The inflow, 18,351, and the outflow is zero. You can see zero has been going on for more than 24 hours now. So as we scroll through and we look at some of the, the latest images, you have to be very, very careful as you go through Twitter and as you go through YouTube. There's a lot of clickbait out there. And some of the good resources, I'm putting everything below, is this Windy TV. It tells you, you know, the precipitation. You can type in anywhere. And I have Orville typed in here. And it allows you to not only see the future forecast, but when we go to even a deeper resource like NASA, NASA eyes the Pineapple Express soaking California. Well, they really redirected a lot of satellites to look in hindsight and see what has happened over the course of the month of February. And when they look, when we're looking at right here is just the six days in February and the amount of precipitation that has fallen over the west coast of the United States. It is mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling with how much water has been dumped in the Sierra Nevadas. It's mind-boggling with when you look at this one video, and I'm, it, I'm not going to play the video, but I have the link below, they simply forecast that California has received more than 100 years of rain this year in 2017. It's just in 2016. It is just crazy how much precipitation has fallen on the entire west coast of the United States, not just California, Oregon, and going up into Washington. But as we look for resources, as we look for what's going on, sometimes our government is not putting out the most accurate information. We already know that. But these are the resources that we have. This is the context of what we have to use. And then there are individuals out there that are utilizing some interesting data, the electrical magnetics of the Earth. And this is just simply another variable in the Orville Dam situation is the potential threat in California for earthquakes. And this is the warning map. It's put out by Ben Davidson. He's a suspicious observer. Again, look at the timestamp, March 5th. It was this morning at 8.19 a.m. The alert map for the entire world, and we can see that part of Northern California, Oregon, and the West Coast in Seattle, as well as up into Canada, is all in a yellow risk area. That's an increase of magnitude 5.5 to 6.3. The biggest aspect is check the description box below look for the resources, see what the California Department of Water Resources is putting out, know the inflows, know the outflows, look at the incident reports. But as always, see the timeline, see the history, know the facts, know what's taking place, but they are working 24 hours a day and the eyes are on there. And I make these videos starting back in February to list the resources. So, if you like what I'm doing, just hit like. That's a great way things work on YouTube and with energy. I want everyone to be safe. I want everyone to check on your own. And most importantly, I want everyone to stay safe. Share quality information. There's not enough quality resources out there in terms of putting out accurate content. And today is March 5th, 2017, so they say. I am the wellness hero. I am grateful you have watched. Hit subscribe. I will be putting out a lot more honorable content with resources available as always. Stay hydrated and live enthusiastically. Have blessings on your day.